Hi, kiddos. Okay, so I'm going to demo making a reduction print with a linoleum block that I have already made some cuts into. So I have made some initial cuts into my linoleum, and I'm going to print this. And I have some yellow paper. I'm hoping I picked colors that will show up well on the video. They're not necessarily the best color choices, but they're going to, you know, hopefully get the job done. So I'm making my first print in, oh, I wanted to make my first print blue. Well, my first print's going to be in red, because I've already done the tray. So I've got my brayer, I've got the ink, I've got the tray, I've got the linoleum, which is my block, and I've got my paper ready to go, and I'm going to ink up my, my block. So I'm rolling this back and forth on the brayer. on my linoleum. And then I'm going to flip this. Try to keep your paper clean, kids. Onto this paper and then place it. Now once it grabs, of course, you flip it like this. Rub the paper side. and then you have your first print. Now this is not the finished print. In a reduction print, you are removing additional layer, additional information from the block, and then printing again in a different color directly on top of your first print. We call that registering when you put it directly on top. So I'm going to pause this video, clean this off, remove some more, and show you the next step. Okay, so I have removed some more. You can kind of tell where because it's the lighter, you know, color of the cut. I have my tray, my ink, my brayer, and my original print. So this is why you make a whole lot of your first pass of prints because you're going to print on top of them, and not every one of them is going to work out great, you know. Um, and you might want to make some adjustments, like with color or cuts. So you want to have a whole bunch of prints to start. And then, then you do your reductions. So now I'm rolling out the thing. And I'll ink up my block and now for goodness sake make sure you have it going the right way it's going to go right there this way and then make sure that you line it up square which is again called registering the print register it to line it up and then, when you have it down, I've got all these little bits. Flip it and rub. Now, let's see what we get. Ooh, that is really pretty. Okay, so to discuss this a little bit, areas that were removed from the get go and not impacted, and if I had lined it up a little better, I'd have more of it, stayed yellow because they were the color of the paper that never got any ink on the lino block. The first pass gets the blue. I'm sorry, the first pass got the red. And then whatever I removed, there was no linoleum there to ink up, so there was no way to get the second color on top of it. So the blue only sits where the lino still was. So anywhere where there is where there was a removal of the second layer stayed red. So obviously 
you can use this to your advantage to layer colors deliberately um, if you plan them out ahead of time. But that is how you do a reduction print. Okay, kids, have fun.